Hello guys, welcome back to SnowRunner in the Hummer 2, still in Northport, because we got some tasks to do. I've been around uh, accepting tasks, so I can at least start them up, and these, yeah, I got about five more to do. Um, yeah, we're going to start today, uh, I got the Hummer H2 up here, we last, last left it down here somewhere. Man, it was a struggle just to get up the hill with the trailer, uh, the prototype trailer that has a radar on it. Uh, but I came down here to, ex to accept the task of, what is it called? Lost Oil... I think it's called Lost Oil Tank, um, but I, apparently it's a scout tank, so I got to take the Humber 2 down this little, I, I assume right here, this little, it looks kind of icy, but uh, yeah, I got to bring the oil tanker back up here. Uh, it looks like a simple task, but I think it's going to be kind of challenging. Um, meanwhile, I've been taking the the Marshall, uh, if I can figure out what we were. Uh, yeah, the Marshall was up here at the radio station somewhere in here, uh, right? Somewhere in there? I think so. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, I came down here. We got a couple tasks. We got some roads to open up over here. And I think we're going to do that with the uh, dairy. The dairy Longhorn. I already got a trailer for it. So this requires two... Uh, one of these requires two like log, uh, wood planks. And the other one requires steel beams. So we're going to take uh, the dairy Longhorn with the trailer. Because both items I can get... Uh, one I can get at the, uh, the factory. And the other one at the sawmill. Makes sense. Uh, so we'll load up, come on all the way through, and then uh, do both of them at the same time. Uh, the Marshall is actually over here. I don't know what this building actually is. Uh, is this a warehouse? I think it might be the warehouse. Um, I accepted a task there for uh, check the power line. So we got like power lines going up through these woods, woodsy area. Yeah, a couple of them could be kind of interesting to get to. I don't know if I got enough fuel in the Marshall to do that. Uh, but that's where we kind of are. Oh, yeah, in the trailer park. Uh, the trailer park, they want them to, uh, up here where this little trailer is. Uh, they, they said an off-road truck is required. So I think I'm going to have to come up here and maybe bring the trailer somewhere. I'm not too sure. Not too sure at all. But let's get started here. Uh, let's, we got the H2 right here. Uh, hopefully, do I, do I have more fuel in this? Hang on a second. Uh, can I refuel? Small roof rack does have fuel in it. Go ahead and give me all the fuel that I have. So I know what I got left here. Not a big deal. All right, so let's go ahead and back on up. That's a good start. Back up over the bridge. And it seems like they want me to go down this thing. That's what I'm kind of guessing. So we're going to go down here. Yeah, so when we got the upgrade last time, I did not happen, we did not check to see uh, what that race suspension was for. Uh, but it wasn't, it said it wasn't for the vehicle that we were in. So we know it's not for the Hummer. Um, I don't know what it was for, but uh, oh well. That's what happens when we hit the wrong button. Alright, this was, coming down here, this wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But then again, I haven't gotten uphill yet. So <laughs> let's see what happens. Uh, this little thing, uh, can I take the fuel from it? It'd be great if I could fuel myself up uh, with it. Let me back on up here. Uh, oh, I'm in neutral. There we go. Come on. That should be close enough. Uh, that button there. Attach trailer. All right. And let's see if I can get up the hill with this thing. I thought this was going to be just a little bit more difficult than what it was when I saw it. I'm like, hmm, can I actually get down there? Uh, am I, what am I stuck on here? What am I actually stuck on? Somebody want to tell me what I'm stuck on here? Apparently, I am high-centered. Are you kidding me? I, and that tree is not going to do it for me. Um... Attach that to that. Oh, radius suspensions. Did I sink into the ice? Maybe that's what... I have no idea what's going on there. I think I may have cracked the ice and I'm sinking in. Alright, uh, we will get out of here one way or another. So I can zoom on out here. What can I attach this to that will... Anything? Bueller? Uh, there's something over there. Well, it'll move the trailer over, which is fine, but that's not going to help out my truck now, is it? Uh, 
Oh, there's a huge flipping rock there. That that would be explained why I got high centered. Plus, I was I think I was going into the ice a little bit. All right, so we do got chains on this one, right? Yeah, I think we do. All right, honestly, I thought this was gonna be one of those jobs where I'm like, trailers are there, and I gotta bring it here. Yeah, that's not going to be that simple, right? But it looks like this might be simpler than I... Well, I'm not there yet. Especially when I get to the top of this bridge, and i got to do a pretty tight turn here. But we are just in a scout vehicle and a scout trailer. Come on, get up the hill. There we go. So now we'll start turning. We'll have to do like a 20-point turn around here. There, that will work, kind of. Alright, so that wasn't too bad at all. Plus, this doesn't, you know, give us much XP or money, but it's another task that we got, we'll get done here. Alright, accept that. Perfect. With that all done, before I forget, uh, turn off the engine. There we go. Yeah, originally I need to bring the Hummer uh, down here. Uh, once I get it down to the service site, hopefully I can get down there with the fuel I got. I should be able to with the trailer. I mean, it's downhill. Um, at the service area, I can get some... Uh, I should be able to refuel and all that. And then I can go ahead and turn the radar on and see if I can find any more upgrades. Uh, but right now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the, uh, the Deary Longhorn. Uh, oh, Deary me. There we go. Like I said, all set up, ready to go. Now let me go ahead and put the automatics. I think we're fine there. Yeah, so we got a trailer. Should be able to fit five pieces of equipment on here. Uh, like I said, two wooden planks and one metal beam. So we go pick that stuff up. Open up some couple of roads. Then I may leave this trailer here. And I'm not sure. I mean, I may just take this truck right on up. And we'll go do the log trailer. Um, not the log trailer. Uh, the trailer park. <laughs> That's what I want to say. I got logs and trailers in my mind. Yeah, log, a log trailer home. That'd be kind of an interesting little thing. Anyways, let's go pick up the metal beams first, and then I'll have to double check because I think it's wooden planks. That's why I do think it is. Well, a handful of minutes later, here we are to grab some metal beams. So, yeah, I took a little damage going up through on the road where they put up those stupid barricades, and I just, like... This is a dairy. Let's just, just go through at, at speed and see what happens. And um, I, I took like 60 or 70 suspension damage. I'm like, really? Really? I mean, I know I know you're going to take damage, but that's just a lot. Uh, anyways, let's go in here, hopefully. And can you make the turn here? Or I need to slow down a little bit. No, we're fine. All right, so cargo management 101. Metal beams. Yes, uh, just one of those, please. Thank you. And now I want to get the other task up, or at least look what I need. Uh, what is the task I'm doing? That's called Stone Fall. Rock Fall wants wooden planks. All right. Uh, and let me just... I mean, I'm going to click it here just because I don't want to forget. So wooden planks is what I'm after. Let's back out of here as, for some reason, the steel fence just went flying. And the turning radius on this vehicle is terrible. Why is everything around me just like flying everywhere? I'm going to guess since I took all that suspension damage, it's making my turning radius worse than it is as well. I'm not sure if that's it, but it seems like it's turning a lot worse than it did before. I mean, I did take a lot of damage there in my suspension, which is kind of unfortunate. Probably could have got a service trailer at the factory that we're just at and repaired it, but what fun would that be? Let's go get our wooden planks. It's wooden planks, right? See, I forgot already. It's, it's been like a minute and a half and I forgot. So we get both of those roads open. And then we'll take this thing on up now. I've probably don't have the right saddle on here for whatever trailer's up there. You don't really need the high saddle that often, but uh, when you do, you need it. 
Uh, is it wooden planks? This is the only thing I can get here, so I'm going to say it is wooden plank. Let me... I better double check. Because that will be terrif terrible. Terrible. Yes, wooden planks. Alright, I uh, just want to make sure. One, two. Alright, now I need to make my way around to here. I don't know if I've really been up to this part of the map, so I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I might run into some issues. I don't know if I will or won't. And then we'll come on down to here. Alright. Let me get to rolling here and uh, we'll get the first road open, then go get the other one open. Like I said, then we'll go check out to see what the trailer park is all about. Well, pretty much since I left the factory, I've been in low plus because, yeah, high gear. Yeah, I just can't do it. And the hill did get a little bit steep going up through, but uh, we managed to get on through. And, yeah, just as soon as I bring it back, I might get stuck now. Of course not. Right? We're not going to get stuck. Hopefully not. Anyways, we're making our way through. We're almost, I don't, I'm going to say almost there. I mean, we've actually driven around half the map and way because the garage is actually on the opposite side. I'm pretty much made a half circle. But we're just about there, I think. I think that marker is where the first road is that we're fixing. Hopefully, I can go in high gear now. There we go. Good little... Don't the heck that noise was behind us, but... Um, yeah, no one's there to see what happened. I didn't see what happened, but uh, we're fine. Anyways, yeah, we're in high gear now. Let's go get the first road open. Then we get the second road open. Uh, they're not far apart from one another. They weren't very crucial, obviously, because I would have fixed these roads early on. But apparently I haven't needed to really take these roads or I would have fixed them a long time ago. We've been in Alaska for a good amount of time at this point. So, yeah, last episode I was trying to remember exactly the name of all the maps in Michigan. It's like, ooh, I'm having a hard time to remember what the names of the maps were. I right, may need a little plus here to get on through. Uh, this should be the road. Yeah, this should be the road for one of them. Yeah, that damage I took on the suspension right at the get-go after leaving the garage and going through the barrier, I do believe has affected the steering uh, on this quite a bit, the turning radius. Come on now. I know you got a lot of weight in a trailer behind you, but uh, we can do this. Uh, maybe not. Let me put it in... Uh, how about... How about here? How about we actually use the winch that you have on the vehicle? That sometimes helps out. Then, of course, the thing I kind of thought about when I was doing this, like, when I get up there, I'm going to have to turn around to kind of get on out of here, but it shouldn't be too difficult. This, this is why I'm going to this one here, because there was more, it's definitely more room up here than there is at the other one. Now, the only thing I don't know is, am I going to need multiple deliveries to one of these to get it all fixed? Hey, level 18. I was not expecting that, Tay, to be honest with you. Alright, so that road is now open. Now I just need to back on out of here, and I'm just going to go ahead and do this, because sometimes with my commentating, I get confused with what the heck I'm doing. Let's go get that road open. So I still got the steel beams here. Now the question is, am I going to be able to back out of here with... I don't want to say relative of ease, but um, we'll try it. Just miss the tree, please. And this thing is not turning the greatest, but like I said, uh, we'll manage. Plenty of logs I think I can attach to. Help me get out of here. Because we are in the thick of things right now. There we go. Now we're moving. The question is, when I get these done, have I done all the tasks? So the ones I... I uh, showed you at the beginning here. I don't know if that's all the task on this map. 
this thing just is not turning for me. I mean, it's not the greatest turning vehicle to begin with, but taking the suspension damage, I don't think it's helped me out quite a, quite a bit <laughs> at all. I have burned through half my fuel, and I don't know if there's a fuel tanker over here or not. That task right there, that's the uh, trailer park one. There is a fuel tanker. I left the P-16 at the end of the last episode uh, where it was because I thought, you know, if I ever need something, the P-16 is right there and I can just load up that trailer and bring it out to wherever I need to go. And there is a fuel trailer right there so I can top off the P-16 with some fuel. It's got about half a tank left in it though, but, you know, while I'm there, I might as well go ahead and top it off. Detour. No, I can't take a detour. I need to go ahead and get this road open. And then I'll probably back up and get this trailer off the road. Come on, baby. Get on up there. I'm trying to do it without using a winch. That looks like we're there. Fine. Alright, so, yeah, the trailer is up here. I think I need to go up this road and get into there. Uh, yeah, so let me, let's back this out and get this least on the main road. This is what I'm saying. This one doesn't have as much room as the other one does. So turning around up here is not really an option. Uh, what I may have to do is... Gravity, sometimes this helps you out, right? right? So I just want to back it up across the road. We'll get it off the main road, but somewhere where it's easily acceptable. Accessible, not acceptable. Well, it's acceptable and acceptable. Accessible. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm starting to say. Yeah, darn pedals, uh, detached trailer. All right, back up the way I just came. I did detach that, right? Or is it just stuck on? I think it's just stuck on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, it's stuck on it. All right, so now window way in a trailer to pull. Hopefully, I can get up here a little bit easier. I don't know the vehicle classes well enough, but it says off-road truck rec recommended. Oh, wow. Um, all right, so... It's going to be a little tricky to get around here, if I can get around here. Oh, it's a tight squeeze everywhere. Now this has all-wheel drive and diff lock always on, so it should definitely help us out just to get up here. And you think with this many tires, should get up here with, I don't want to say with ease. I think the Royal BM might be a little bit more suitable because it's a little bit shorter. This could be a problem because I probably don't have. I'm docking down every tree that there is. Well, that road is not going to work for the dairy. Um, yeah, that that had a rock that I just could not get through, no matter what angle, what gear, didn't matter. Uh, just kept getting wedged in there. So I want to try going up the other road, but the fuel level is getting lower and lower. The more I try to get up there, uh, well, because the engine's running stupid. Yes, I know. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, if I get up there, I do. If I don't, well, then, uh, yeah, we'll just have to recall the vehicle, I suppose, and uh, find another way. But, yeah, we got another road to try. 
I mean, I still got a decent amount of fuel. I don't know where I got to bring this trailer when it becomes time to. Uh, but first things first, I need to get up there and attach to it and see where it needs to go. Well, so far, this road seems a little bit easier. But then again, I'm not up there yet. And of course, I had to open my big mouth and now I can see some rocks here. But I'm actually still in high gear. Going, okay. Uh, <laughs> not quite. Come on, make the corner. We're almost up here. I can feel it. Why, why, why did the engine quit? Didn't say engine stalling. The engine just quit. Yeah, so that road there, definitely a lot easier to, to get on up. Wait, is it? Is it that trailer there? Task complete? Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm just staring here, <laughs> looking at this. W what am I... Deliver to Polar... Exp what? It, what? 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 And let me come up over here first. We will... Show task. So it says I can pick up something here. I don't know what... I, is that like a trailer store? Can't be. All this, I'm, I'm trying to get the trailer out of here just because I'm not really sure I know what's on it, but it'd uh, be good to bring back and sell. I mean, I'm up here, right? That may not even attach to that, though. That might not be... Not suitable trailer to be attached. All right, uh, that's a thing. Well, we're up here. Let me put the parking brake on. Uh, yeah, so the only so I com actually completed that t task. So the only thing left that I know of is uh, the power line check, 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 check. Um, yeah, this is to show me what I can pick up up here. Uh, I guess that's consumables, right? That's consumables. I think it is. Maybe not. I can pick up stuff there. Yes, I know that. Uh, so yeah, so the power line check is I got to check the power line here, 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 and here. Not the easiest ones to get to by any means, but um, that's what you would kind of expect. Uh, see, do we have time for one more? Um, I think if we do another task, uh, let me go to another map because I've done all of them here. Definitely don't have time to do a contract. I'm trying to keep this episode kind of short. Um, like I said, I could get the Hummer the h 2 down here, uh, but it doesn't mean I'm going to find anything either. So, yeah, let me go see if I can find a task like in... Uh, uh, White Valley or, or something like that. Well, here we are in the Royal BM nighttime in White Valley. I think I, I'm actually doing and you can kind of see the task in the upper right hand corner. We got 800 out on the island I need to go and the reason why we're using the Royal BM is because it's the only vehicle I got in the current map. And I could have recalled something else I had in the garage but this was available and I felt like using it. Uh, the one thing I just got to be careful of, I'm taking a lot of side roads here. Um, I just don't want to tip this over which I probably will do to be honest with you because I almost did it twice. Yeah, it's bound. It might actually happen. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna grab this 800, and I thought we'd just leave it at nighttime just because um, why not? Uh, we always try to do things during the daytime, but sometimes it's fun to show things at nighttime as well. In Alaska, I don't mind because it's bright enough with the snow on the ground, and nighttime is not too bad. And like I've always said, uh, snow runners seem to do a pretty good job with the headlights. Not make it actually pitch black out, so that's always good. So it's just an 800 out on an island. Uh, I mean, this should do the job just fine. This is the only task that I have uh, unlocked on this map right now. I, I'm going to have to double check on my profile. Does it say how many tasks you got done on each map? Or does it just show the region? Because that way I can figure out if I'm done with task, I can, you know, I can uh, probably get the H2 somewhere else. And start doing some radar. I'm sure I haven't done all the tasks here. This thing does turn a lot better than the Deary does, but then again, you kind of expect it to.
Okay, so that wasn't too bad getting across. Okay, so I've been watching some videos once in a while on the SnowRunner, and uh, there's a guy called, um, his YouTube channel is called A Tribe Called Cars. So I watch him on SnowRunner, and he gives his opinion on, like, what's the best, uh, you know, scout vehicle, off-road vehicle, what have you. And it seems like everything he he talks about, all the best vehicles, seem to be coming from the Russian map, uh, oddly enough. So I'm not going to say all of them, but uh, most of them appear to be the Russian ones. Okay, so, yeah, we got to go out to that island there. Should I be doing this at night? Probably not, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. Let's start cutting across here. Yeah, you know what? Because um, I might be able to see better. We're going to have to go ahead and, yeah. I know I said we'll try to do it. Actually, let's go right to midday so I don't have to deal with... Oh, yeah, put on your sunglasses. Uh, that way you can definitely see a lot better of what uh, I'm actually trying to do here. wasn't too clear before but now I can definitely see the path for sure I mean this shouldn't have a problem with an 800 I try and do this at night sometimes looking in the water I may not be able to see the low spots or the high spots Turn this thing around. And then hopefully if I just look backwards and go like that, we're good. And like I said, it's just an 800, so that thing's going to bounce around a bit. Let me get this a little bit closer. Not that I really need to, but... I think the closer the better. That way when I go around corners and such, it's not uh, getting hung up on some things. This should be kind of an easy delivery. The level 18, I'm moving up in the world. Let's go ahead and take a shortcut. But I guess what I've been told, doing the contest is the quickest way to level up and get some cash. I don't think I've done a contest yet. I've accepted contests, but I have not done any. I definitely need to get the, the radar trailer over here and all the other maps to unlock, it, unlock things. I don't think the watchtowers are really getting everything done. Park that up. We will accept that task right there. And not too bad. Yeah, so if I go to here. Dang, gas pedal is uh, sticking again. Um, yeah, so the only thing I got here is weather forecast for task. If I go to the map here, yeah, task giver, that's it. And upgrades, can't find nothing. All the watchtowers have been have been uh, taken out. But you, get, you can see some grayed out areas here. My guess is if I do the radar trailer around here, I may find some upgrades. And what have you. Uh, haven't been down here. Yeah, plenty of things to do. I mean, look at this whole area right here. I got a road down here. My guess is there's going to be a task down here. Maybe even an upgrade. So yeah, the radar trailer is definitely going to help me out rather than just roaming around. The radar trailer does rather well. But uh, we're doing rather well. Actually, while I'm sitting here, because I talked about it. Um, we are, yeah, 93% done Michigan. The only ones I didn't do with the contract. Uh, not the contracts. The contest. Um, upgrades unlocked, so I still got nine more. Watchtowers done. Vehicles found. I'm, I'm still looking for a vehicle, apparently. Interesting. Oh, right here. Contracts. Task. There we go. Oh, it does tell me where they're located. Uh, all the ones in White Valley. 
Mountain River, North Port. So apparently I got a few more tasks in North Port. Or power line check, yes. Can't go to waste. Uh, so there is one task I got to find. Yeah, so I just got to find one more task. The power lines we know about. And I think I might know where that task is for Northport. Uh, but we're doing pretty good on the task. That's not too bad. So, yeah, we're getting along well. And, of course, contest contracts we hardly, hardly have done in Alaska. Um, but we're getting there. We are getting there. We're, we're knocking them out. And uh, once we start doing some of the contracts, let's try to make sure I say that right, contracts, yeah, we'll get a lot more money and a lot more experience, level on up. And uh, maybe be able, because there's some upgrades you can't do until you're certain ranks. So we're getting up there. We're moving along. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here in SnowRunner. But until then, have a good one.